So let's see how Zach manhandles this freaking. Zach can do everything, can he, Rich? Just watch him manhandle this freaking trailer and rover. Look at him. He's backed it up to the freaking door. I mean, it, it would take me days to do this. I'm sorry. I don't know how the hell he does this stuff. Regardless, that is the new trailer that's going to accompany the S1000 RR for the new bike build series to its new home. That's the Range Rover Sport. You do not get the Range Rover Sport. Some people have already mentioned. Yeah, they, they actually mentioned that, Rich. You do not get the Range Rover Sport. You get the trailer. You get the awesome S1000 RR. Somebody's also going to get the Triumph 675. Okay? But enough's enough. You cannot have everything. I need my Range Rover Sport. Now maybe, I was thinking about for season two, giving you my wife's X5, if you want that. You know, it's a, it's a great, you know, twin turbo V6 X5. We'll see if that happens, see if we can meet our goals. But for right now, I'm at Sills b and and welcome to another episode of the new bike build series. This is where we took a 2017 BMW S1000 RR that I purchased from Sills BMW and we transformed that motorcycle into something that I'd be proud to ride on these filthy streets of Cleveland. You'd probably be happy to ride that bike on your filthy streets wherever you're from as well. And this thing has just been growing and growing and growing and now we have an MV M7 Mobilizer dual axle 6.5 by 14 foot long trailer that we're going to add to the new bike build series. That is going to accompany the 2017 S1000 RR that we've all dressed up and turned into a ferocious, ferocious, ferocious motorcycle. And then we also have the Triumph 675R that's going to be made available to one of our outstanding Patreon supporters as well. Zach's getting really close to that motorcycle, <laughs> but I'm sure he knows what the heck he's doing. Um, hey Zach? Yeah. You got to open that rear door, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe up a little more? Yeah, let me move our trailer. Oh, okay. All right, Zach, what are we doing inside of a trailer today? I guess we're gonna play carpenter or something, huh? <laughs> yes. So, well, you got this awesome trailer. Yes, we're sir. We're gonna haul this bike in. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to figure out how to strap it down or tie it down. There's a couple ways to do that. Shiny stuff's always good. We got a pit bull restraint system. Awesome. So what's gonna happen is, kind of like a rear stand, this connects into the motorcycle, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna install mounts on the floor. I don't know how accessible they are. Probably one of these boxes. Okay. That's another one. That's There's our second one. one. And yep, these are the. I remember this from when I installed it in my trailer. That's the floor mounting stuff. Yep. So this is what we were looking for. Ah. So all we have to do is install this plate, and the four screws that mount it are going to have latches that are going to click into that. No muss, no fuss. You'll just have to hook, put this on your bike, roll it in, yep. latched up and ready to go. And that is a one-man operation, whereas trying to strap a motorcycle, could uh, you could use uh, your buddy or somebody for, to help. Yeah, mm -hmm. and really, there's nothing close to the motorcycle touching. There's no way it's going to get scratched. Uh, even in the wheel chalk, you could scratch a wheel calip or something. So yeah. I think this is a good idea. Awesome, man. And well, Zach approves. We got, uh, we got the bike position, so we should probably take a couple measurements and mark the floor. Okay. What the hell you got there, Zach? All right, so this is, before I mentioned the Canyon Dancer, it's commonly known as this is how that would work. Mm -hmm. It slips over the grip. And like I said, sometimes they wind up squishing your heated grip or it kind of pushes on this turn signal button. Yes. And then you got that, and you still have to have a set of tie downs. Yes. Which now need to go to the floor. Exactly. So, so that takes up a lot of real estate in the trailer, right? Exactly. And how many bikes could you put in a trailer with that type of setup? Just two, probably, right? Yeah, we could probably finagle three or something mm -hmm. using different strips, but way easier with a pit bull restraint system. Yep. And way safer. I agree. I have them in my trailer. My trailer is set up to hold up to four motorcycles. Um, I usually only haul around two, 
but uh, I love these Pitbull restraint systems. Super thanks to our good buddies at Pitbull, my good buddy George. There's a link in the description to uh, Pitbull where you can get a discount if you click that link when ordering these products. So we got the bike in position. Um, I think we need to go closer to the wall so we can fit two. Or? Yes. Yeah. yeah, my handlebars are almost close to the wall of mine. Yeah. Let's put this mirror in. That look pretty good? Straight up, yeah, that looks good. Okay. I'm going to scoop that rear wheel over a little bit. Yeah, this will get us the distance, though. Okay. So what do we want to do about the center of the wheel? Yes. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this better than the trailer. She did pretty <laughs> outstanding with that damn trailer. There we go. Yeah, now you're talking. Nice and straight? Yeah. Okay. Now if it's straight up, is that uh is no the handlebar gonna touch the nope, the side? Mm -hmm. No, that looks nope. good. Okay. Um where's our little set? Okay. Yeah. I mean, we should use a marker. Thin, yeah. <laughs> we'll use a black marker. Let's measure it again. Yeah. Want to grab a marker? It was like fifth. Oh, here is our center mark. Okay. Back just here. Okay. And then I guess we'll just park this center. So we know where that's at. Get a plate and okay. mark the plate. All right. So we went with the center line of the wheel and our other center line, but it was kind of close to the wall, so I'm just going to scoot over that way a hair. Perfect. And then we'll measure from the <laughs> end of the trailer there. I love helping Zach. So we got, <laughs> we'll use nice round numbers. We'll stick it to 49 inches. Perfect. Put a mark. Let's go over this way. Yep. And while we're while we're doing that, do we want to just? I'll grab the other plate. And we can do the other side, or you want to do this one first? Let's do this one first. To okay. Make sure that we don't have to just scoot it over or something. Gotcha. And then, like you were saying, we can probably just go right off the wall to the back. Yes. And it'll be real easy. So let's just roll our bike on that real quick. I'd say so yep. we don't make more holes than we need to. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God! This guy keeps scaring <laughs> the crap out of me. Dude, it, it's too close to Halloween. I wish the camera was on your face. That was oh funny. Oh gosh, I, I love cats, but not big, huge ones. That the, grumpy cat. Yeah, and he doesn't speak. That's even more spooky. <laughs> now he's gone. Oh my gosh, that really scared the crap out of me. Okay, here comes Zach, and he's back. Here. Do I need to step on that so it doesn't move? I think we're gonna stay put. Yep, we did. All right, so, so now we want to stand that sucker up. How's that looking? That looks good with the, as far as the axles. That looks good as far as clearing the side. Yep. Yeah. OK. Yeah. I think we can drill that son of a B in. Should we move it this way a hair, maybe? More. It seems like there's plenty of room for two bikes. Two think? bikes? Yeah. Or should we get another one in here? Yeah, let's put another one in here. But I know that in my trailer, my handlebars are really that close to the wall. Yeah. And then my trailer is the exact same size as this one, six and a half by 14. Okay. Well, let's just go with it then. Okay. And here we go. All right. Yeah, give me a hand there. Yep. I think we'll actually do one first, and then maybe we'll start that bolt and snug it up so it'll okay. hold this plate in place. Perfect. You go grab that. So I think I got what we need here. This is going to go through from the top. I'm going to go underneath and I'll tighten this. I'm going to need you to hold the top. Okay. And uh, we'll set this guy to eight, eight foot pounds. pounds. Gotcha. Got to change it from my 
Newton meter scale. How much is this tool, Zach? Uh, they're right around five hundred dollars currently. Wow. You can catch them on sale every now and then for four hundred or so. But wow. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. That was easier. Yeah. Try holding <laughs> the drill straighter. Okay. Like so. Back towards you just ahead. Okay. A lot easier when there's no metal in the way, huh? Yes. Now we need more clips and yep. stuff. We'll go grab some more hardware. So these guys here are called pin sets. Um, every motorcycle has a different size pin set. I happened to order uh, pin sets for the S1000RR because I knew this was the bike that we would be rewarding folks with. So uh, if you can go on to Pitbull's website, if you can order pin sets for ZX10s, RSV4s. Uh, whatever bike that you need, um, and then you attach these into the little guy here. Like this, so you have some space to work with. I think you gotta flip it over. Ah. Um. Yes. If you had a Ducati or single-sided swing arm, can you still use this stand, or do you have to get a whole different stand? You can use this stand. All you, you just have need to a, different get is a different pin set. Oh, that's cool. Ducati, yeah super super sweet so we're going to reverse these because this one as you can see is too big to go into the axle on this side doesn't so we basically, fit in the hole <laughs> yeah, we basically just have to reverse it and then we see these are different sized so we're going to take right now the smaller one and use it for the left once you get the hang of this it is super easy and it doesn't take any time at all. I'm gonna put the right side in, slides right in. Then what you wanna do is you wanna turn it around so that you can see the hole through there, slide this guy through, and then you wanna attach this on the other side. And you wanna do that to both sides. This guy here, top and the bottom, boom, super secure. So now we're gonna get rid of this too, we're done with that. What's that bungee cord for? Ah, cool, good question, Zach. So what I like to do is, I like to use the bungee cord and attach the restraint system to a part of the bike somewhere. Ah. Uh, that's, I don't like that over there, so I'm gonna, ah, I usually go right into the rear fender. Okay. So now that's attached. Cool. We have the first bike secured using the Pitbull restraint systems in your trailer. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up for the second bike. There you go. Zach's got the plate, we've got the measuring tape. We're at 45 inches, I believe. Yes, correct? sir. Indeed. Oh, let's see how far we are off the wall. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We want it's three and three quarter. It's four now. It's almost no, four. No, the edge okay. of that plate. There. Oh yeah. Three and five eighths. Yep. Three and five eighths. Three and five eighths. Let's stick a, oh, we don't have any bolts. I was going to say just stick it in, make it easier, but I'll just hold it. Okay. Since we have two people. Yeah. That looks straight to me. Yes? Yeah, that looks good. We got Grumpy Cat to assist. Yes. You can come stare at the bottom of a trailer with me. Yeah. There's lots of sharp, pointy screws staring at us. Thank goodness it's a dry day here today, right? Yeah, we did kind of look out on that. It looked like it was going to rain. So I just like to start all these. Mm -hmm. Right here. Where are you at up there, Grumpy Cat? By the wall? Gotcha. So as long as he's holding that one, we'll just ratchet away. You 
you were saying on your trailer it had a subfloor. Yes. And you had to use metal plates, huh? Yeah, we uh, ordered more plates from Pitbull, and we installed the same plates that we installed in the interior. Ah. We put them underneath, underneath. as well. Underneath, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, Pitbull actually said that wasn't necessary, but we just wanted to be on the safe side. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. This part does seem just a little bit on the scary side, but I'm sure it's fine and proven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you see how light this 10 foot pounds is. Wow. I mean, it doesn't take much to get there. Like, that's it. Wow. And if you go too tight, what happens, Zach? We won't be able to get the um, piece that clips the pit bull stand in. Okay. Go straight across from that one, Grumpy Cat. Straight across, Grumpy. <laughs> Feel free to smile. <laughs> he doesn't know how to smile. <laughs> it is nice looking underneath something new. Everything's freshly painted. Yeah. No rust, no No green. rust, yeah. It's got its own braking system, huh? Yeah, it does. Wow. Uh, this trailer has a leaf spring suspension system. Uh, mine has a torsion suspension system. Okay. Is it, is it an electric brake? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Make it safer when you're towing through the Blue Ridge Parkway yeah. into the Dragon, right? Yeah. You definitely need a braking system to go through there. I went through that area on my way to Atlanta. And it's, uh, you gotta stay on your toes. Yeah, it keeps you on your toes with yeah. the trailer, right? You're not dozing off, you're not reading texts. You probably only had, what, five or six super bikes in your trailer, too? Yeah, yeah. Last one. Last one. All right. Let's awesome. roll out of here. Yes. All right. So, we're trying to put our second bike in here. And as you see, um, the same thing happens to me in my trailer. I'm real close to this wall. So I've got to do a little song and dance here to actually get this thing going. I put it on the kickstand now. I've got to move this tire over quite a bit. For me, that's not a problem to do that. For some people, it could be. It's almost there. But I have to be mindful of the handlebars. Yeah, this is good. This is more clearance than I have in mind, actually. Now I can put this down, and I can just kind of work with the bike steering to get it lined up. And it's looking good, actually. Just come up a little more. There we go. Now, like I was telling you earlier, Zach, I just did something that I mentioned earlier. I got it in there, but because it's not completely lined in the center, the handlebars kind of touch the wall. Okay. So I don't like that. I'm going to pull it over a little bit. Hopefully, we can correct that. If I center it perfectly. 
much better. There you go. Much better. Now again, as I mentioned earlier, you don't want to stomp on that to get it down there. Just turn the handlebars. And then there. it locks in. Nice. So just a little bit of a learning curve to these, but... Yeah, once you get the hang of it, just make sure you don't go stomping on your stuff, man. It's not necessary. Turn the handlebars a little bit. Make sure you get these guys lined up um, in the center. And then... All right, so now you check this out up here. Handlebars will absolutely will not touch this wall anymore. Yep. No matter what the bike does. You know? Yeah. I mean, it may have taken a minute or two to get it centered, but you'd have been spending all that time with tie down straps. And yeah, a lot more. Everything, time. too. So. And then once you get the hang of it, you know, since, yeah. I, since I have different bikes, I never really got the hang of one particular bike. But for those of us that just have one or two styles of bikes, You'll learn your bike very well, and you'll learn how to get this thing in here in two seconds. Awesome. All right, let's see what it looks like from the rear. Okay. It's looking good from the front. Yeah. You give it an inspection, please, Zach. Oh, yeah. I think we did good. Yes, sir. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to mount the uh, units to hang these guys, to hang these uh, restraint systems when they're not in use. So we got our D-rings installed to hold our bungee cords. Mm -hmm. It holds most of me, so I think we're good. <laughs> yeah. This clicks in. A nice solid snap. Nice. Let's see if we got them out far enough so that... Oh, look, these are adjustable, too, if you did need to. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. I didn't even know that. I like that. Good. That's nice and secure against the wall. They sent a couple of nice foam protection pads that we'll put back here so it doesn't scuff the trailer. Yep. They said just to mount it and use it, so let's see. It should stick, right? Yep. Oh yeah, that's some sticky stuff. There, that's one. That look good? Yes. There we go. Job well done. All right. We got one system in, we're gonna install the next one. One to go. Great job today, Zach, on the install of the pit bull restraint systems, eh? Yeah, good work. I think uh, we did pretty well. Only one little mishap, that's not too bad <laughs> no. for a couple guys just uh, working on a trailer. Oh, yeah. Definitely never done that before. No. And uh, that pit bull system's great. We've got the pit bull restraint systems installed. We have the holders for the restraint systems attached to the wall right there so that when they're not in use, they're snugly secure on there, and they won't go anywhere. And uh, the, bike, the the trailer is set up for two motorcycles. One of them, your s 1000 R, is in the trailer right now, and then we have this spot here for another bike, if you so choose. This thing is awesome. Isn't it awesome? This is the MV M7, six and a half feet wide by 14 feet long. Awesome tires that I've been uh, riding in the mud in, so don't, uh, don't worry. This thing will be cleaned up when it's delivered to its new owner. As will the motorcycle. As will the motorcycle, yep. Freshly detailed, ready to go. Yep. So there's only a few videos remaining in the new bike build series season one. And uh, we're going to get this thing wrapped up real soon. Zach, Sounds as always. Good. Thanks, Eve. Thanks, Thanks welcome, everyone, buddy. for watching. Enjoy yep. the day. You got it. So Zach is out of here. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe. There's our Triumph 675R that's going to be delivered to one of our amazing supporters of the new bike build series. We're going to get this thing all cleaned up. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. And as always, thanks for viewing. We'll catch you next time on the new bike build series.